a survey in 2021 in which 15 percent of american adults admitted using illegal drugs twelve million of those drug users owned guns making all of them guilty of this federal felony that hunter biden was just convicted of twelve million people the number of prosecutions for this crime over the last three years was 150 and all of them except hunter biden's were prosecutions for filling out the form wrong in the context of people having been also committed a crime with the gun like they shot somebody with it or they used it in a stick up uh, or they were they were caught with drugs in their car um, at the time uh, there's one guy patrick darnell daniels jr he's in mississippi white guy he had two guns and a couple of joints in his car when he was pulled over by the police they prosecuted him under the same law that hunter biden just was found guilty on and uh, he was found guilty and then he appealed to the u.s uh, the fifth circuit court which is the the appeals court in the south and the u.s the fifth circuit court ruled that uh, they overturned his prosecution they said it violated the second amendment it's i mean this is incredible for the fiscal year 2008 through fiscal year 2017, the Justice Department prosecuted more than 73,000 gun cases. Nearly three quarters of those involved illegal gun possession by people with felony records, while fewer than 2% involved defendants like Daniels and Biden, drug users who also had guns. And the Fifth Circuit said, quote, this nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation the constitutional test that the Supreme Court established last year uh, is inconsistent with this ruling. In other words, you know, when, when uh, Clarence Thomas said that, you know, when you want to interpret laws, what you need to do is go back and see how those laws were used and enforced back 240 years ago, uh, you know, there were no laws against using drugs and having guns. So, you know, the Fifth Circuit overturned this guy. But, you know, this is... <clears throat> clearly a political prosecution. Now, that said, I'll tell you that, uh, you know, I don't believe that Donald Trump probably would have been prosecuted by Alvin Bragg, at least the way he was, were it not for the fact that his crime helped him steal the election in 2016. So, uh, you know, I think in both cases, these people were prosecuted in part because of who they are. But, you know, come on, everybody. So, anyhow, that's my, those are my thoughts on that. I, you know, feel free to argue with me or uh, to contradict me or whatever you'd like um but uh, <laughs> that's my take <laughs>